I am so excited you're here because I want to thank Glowforge for sponsoring today's video and I'm going to be showing you guys a beginner's guide to using the brand new Glowforge Aura. I have had the opportunity to be one of the creators that helps them to launch this amazing machine and I'm so excited to show you guys all about it. If that is something you are interested in, then just keep watching. To start off, I want to show you guys just how easy this machine was to put together, or I should say set up, and it comes in this amazing box. Look how beautifully packaged this is. So that way, if you guys order online from Joann's or Michael's, this is a Joann's and Michael's exclusive product. It is not available on the website just yet, so um, definitely beware of that. But if you order it offline, it is going to come packaged beautifully. That way your machine does not get damaged in transit. So when I opened up the machine, I pulled out all of the inserts, one of which is the hose to the filter. So I just set that aside. I also had my husband's help and there is cardboard keeping all of the components in place and if you just saw how my husband picked up the actual laser so the actual laser is inside of a box itself you just want to lightly lift that up remove all of the packaging inside and then set that laser back down on that little square underneath. Next, I'm going to add the filter to the back, and then it also comes with this little paper. You can just scan the QR code and pull up the directions, but because this has not hit the market just yet as of setting this up, it did, it did have an error, but when you guys get your machine, it should definitely work. We then took the filter out of the box and you also want to take apart the filter on the inside. It has plastic. So you just want to take that plastic off and then line up the lines and put the lid back onto the filter. Then you're going to connect the filter to the top and also you want to plug in. Now this is lesson learned. I did not do this part, but I did learn this after setting it up that you want to plug in your filter first, then plug in the machine and they will automatically sync together. Whereas the older machines, you have to manually sync it and you also have to press a button inside of the app. So my sweet husband is so cute. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these cords. So he wrapped them up really nicely for me and that way they were not very visible. Next, I'm gonna unbox all of the premium materials. They have something for everybody. They have iron on, they have leather, wood, veneer. I mean, you name it, they have it. Plexiglass, I mean, there are so many premium materials. And when you get the Glowforge materials, they are automatically going to sync together because of the camera on the Glowforge. I then took the metal grate and I put that on the inside as well. Next, I'm going to set up the Glowforge app on my computer. So I'm just going to create an account and then I'm going to download the app for Mac. Once you do that, then you're just going to drag the Glowforge Wi-Fi setup into the applications folder, and then you're going to open your application folder, click on Glowforge, and open up the setup. Then, obviously, you're going to sign in. You're going to agree to the terms and service, and then it takes you to the app. Next, it's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on hooking up your machine and get it going, just like I showed you. And then you're going to connect your Glowforge to your Wi-Fi. Once you have your Glowforge connected to your Wi-Fi, then it's going to prompt you on the screen to sign into your Wi-Fi from the Glowforge app. Once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, then it will take you into where all of the projects are. Now, Glowforge Premium is an optional upgrade to the free Glowforge print software that offers a range of benefits to enhance your creativity and efficiency. There's new designs and tools. They offer access to many different features to enhance your 
printing experience as well. Something like this chore chart is absolutely perfect. My daughter has been bugging me for a chore chart, so I can definitely see making one of those in the future. And it also gives you a lot of creative freedom access to a vast catalog of free designs. You always have early access to new features and you can also share some of the benefits of your premium account with up to two people in your household. Now, the Glowforge catalog is a collection of ready-to-print designs that can be used with your Glowforge. It's also designed to be very user-friendly, which I can attest to. I had no problem using this catalog, and trust me, I am not the most tech-savvy person. So when I was ready to cut my design, all I did was pick the material that I was going to use. I also picked the design that I was going to use, and I clicked Make It. Then I'm going to go into the software. It's going to show me inside of my machine with the amazing camera. And then I just kind of size my project on my piece of wood. Once I was satisfied with the placement on the wood, then I'm just going to click in the right hand corner print. Once I click print, then I'm going to go down. It's going to tell me congratulations on your first print. It's going to give me a little message just to let me know not to leave my Glowforge unattended. You always want to man your machine. You do not want to leave it running without standing there. So it's going to give you that message. I just clicked on un I understand. And then once you click that, you're going to click the white button on your machine itself and then your first cut will start. Now there are tons of features that set the Glowforge Aura apart from the rest, but some of my favorites are there are hundreds of materials that give you unlimited creativity. The Aura Vision gives you a preview of your designs on your materials with the Aura Vision before you even hit the print button. It is super simple to set up and use. You can engrave photos in detail. It precisely cuts intricate details such as this chicken wire here. And you also have endless creativity with no hassle, which if you guys know anything about me, I am all about the ease of my projects. Now the last thing that I want to touch on is the Glowforge personal filter. It traps over 99.9% .9 of particles in the air while you are making something magical. It features dual HEPA grade and activated carbon gas filters for maximum air purification. And last but not least, the replaceable cartridges have a lifetime of up to 100 hours of printing. And I can assure you that this filter is bomb. You guys, my shed is not that big. It's only 10 by 16. And the smell from the machine was very, very minimal. Even my husband walked in and was like, wow, I can't even smell it cutting. So I found that to be super impressive. So once my design was cut in the machine, I just opened it up, took out my piece of wood, and then got rid of the scrap wood. Then I'm going to set that aside, and I took a little house Dollar Tree chalkboard. Of course, I used my Dixie Bell Voodoo stain to stain the frame. Once that was dry, then I sanded down the edges to give it a little rustic flare. Now, this was my first cut, and when I was taking out the little pieces, like the scrap pieces, um, I was not very careful, you guys, and I did mess up my chicken wire a little bit, but no big deal. I'm going to cover it up in the end. So I just lay my chicken wire over my little house, and then I'm just going to cut that down to the frame. Next, I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue Super Glue to glue that down. I then take my animal cutouts, and I'm going to give them two really good coats of my white Waverly chalk paint, making sure to dry in between coats. I also forgot to mention that you do need to remove the paper on the Glowforge materials before you do anything with them. And the purpose of that is that way when they are cutting, your wood does not get all burnt up. It just kind of protects it from the laser. Once I had both my coats of white Waverly chalk paint, completely dry. Then I'm going to take my mini chip brush and my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain and I'm going to dry brush all the way around my animals. 
Then I'm going to use some hot glue on the back of my animals. I'm going to cover up that part that I messed up and then glue that down. And look how gorgeous this turned out, you guys. The machine does cut in some time, so make sure that you're like doing a different project while you're cutting something. Um, and I was just doing something else in my shed, and before long, my design was cut out and I could do my project. I cannot wait to use this on many more Dollar Tree blanks. The possibilities are endless, and I'm so excited to bring you guys guys several more projects using my Glowforge Aura. To get your Glowforge, head to Michael's or Joann's. You can either go in store or online. Let me know down in the comments, will you guys be getting your machine? I also love the fact that this is a budget machine, so many more people can get it, and I can't wait to see what you guys create with it as well. With that being said, I love you guys so much. I want to thank Glowforge for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget that you are worthy. You're gorgeous. You can do anything you set your mind to. I love y'all so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.